Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Um, today, crimey pulp or pulpy crime, uh, it's Bodies in Bedlam by Richard S. Prather. So before I talk about this book, let's just appreciate the cover because this is a wonderful, wonderful pulp cover. Um, so this is a UK edition um, of Bodies in Bedlam, um, but I really, I really adore this cover. It's got everything you could want from a, um, a pop crime cover. So this is the second of a, a long running series of novels by Richard S. Prada, featuring a Los Angeles private eye called Shell Scott, um, who's this guy you can see down there, who's got white hair, which is something that was referenced um, many times in the book. Um, so there's about 40 of these written, so he started writing them in 1950, um, and carried on right up until the kind of 70s and 80s, although the output slowed down a lot after the 60s. Uh, but they've got fantastic titles, some of them. Um, so things like Darling It's Death, Way of a Wanton, um, Everybody Had a Gun, <laughs> things like that. And, and as the titles suggest, um, these books are, they, they're almost like a spoof of this kind of book. They're, there's there's a, a, an element of humour in them, um, that is just wonderful. He's, he's definitely got his tongue slightly in his cheek. Um, he still manages to turn out a really enjoyable mystery, um, but there's there's a, 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 that spark of humour in them, which is just brilliant. Um, I'm going to read you some, some passages from the book later on. You'll see what I mean. But he, he does that kind of hard-boiled style of writing. Um, he's definitely not a great writer, but he's a very, very entertaining writer. Um, so, yeah, does, does a great job with them. Yeah, so Cheryl Scott is like, a, I think he's a, a Marine veteran, um, in Los Angeles, you know, in and around the film industry. Um, and in this one, so this one's about him um, investigating a blackmailer. Um, so it starts off with, um, with, a, with a murder at a party that Scott's at, um, and then kind of spirals in there. And, and there ends up being this quite complicated um, tale of blackmail and all these, these various Hollywood actresses getting blackmailed. Um, many of whom um, Scott falls into bed with um, at various points in the book. Um, and um, the actual, uh, I won't give away the ending, but the actual twist at the end, or not the twist, like the denouement, the, the, the way um, he explains how everything has happened is really clever. I thought there was, it, was a, it was a very simple but really clever device he uses at the end, um, which put a big smile on my face, I have to say, um, and, and raised this up from being, you know, kind of a trashy, uh, a trashy pulp book to, to something a, a little bit more than that. So I'm definitely interested in reading more of the in, more of the books in the series. And I will put up a picture of um, Richard S. Prader as well, because he's a fantastic looking dude. He really looks like what a 1950s crime writer should look like, I think. He looks spot on. Um, he was from California himself, so, he, you know, he's writing about what he knows in terms of um, Los Angeles. Um, but yeah, a, a thoroughly enjoyable book. I think these books are, I don't know if all of the series, but certainly some of them are available on Kindle now. Um, and I'm, I'm going to try and pick up paperback copies when I'm off my book buying bow, um, because they're, they're more fun, aren't they? Um, but I, I will definitely pick up some on Kindle as well if I see them cheap enough, um, because, you know, a, a very entertaining character. Um, so yeah, I will, I will now read you a few passages from the book um, to give you a, a sense of um, the kind of thing I'm talking about. So this is um, one of my favourite uh, sequences in the book, which is where um, Scott goes to visit this um, kind of famous Hollywood starlet um, in, at her mansion um, to question her about the blackmail that's been going on. Um, and she proceeds to seduce him immediately. Um, so Costanza Camucha, red hot star of Magna Studios and Chili Hell on Wheels, didn't have a gun. She didn't need one. She had all the weapons that have ruined men from time immemorial or time immoral. I forget. She was a Mexican mama from Que... Oh, no, I can't pronounce this word. Cuenavaca, um, or so her studio biography read, and she'd never lost her delightful Spanish accent. Her voice wore a Spanish accent too, but you weren't listening, you were looking. I parked in front of her house and walked up the flagstone path across the lawn and rang the bell, and she opened the door and looked out, and I thought, hi, hey, hey. She'd look good on the screen, but this was different. This was in all three dimensions. She was two feet away, but I felt like she was crowding me. This was almost as dangerous as getting shot at. So Scott's questioning her and she's, she's attempting to seduce him and he's at the end is trying to get away to get back to solving the case. Um, so this, this sequence here is brilliant. Uh, well, I said, I've got to run. You'll shh, she said. 
I like you very much. I'm not going to let you get away. Not yet. Don't you think I'm hot stuff? Yes, ma'am. Don't ma'am me. Put down your, put, uh, put around your arms. Oh, well now, look, Shell, yeah, I'm going to do something. What's that? I'm going <laughs> to, four asterisks. I'm going to, uh, sorry, uh, as, as they did in old books like this, the swearing is censored. So I'm going to, you. I said, what? I'm going to bleep you. There, she said it again. She was going to asterisk me. This was a new experience. I'd met a lot of women, but not what, not one of them had ever been quite like this. So yeah, very much got that uh, kind of hard-boiled, um, steamy style to it. Um, so yeah, this was uh, another bit I liked. Um, he ignored the girl for a moment and concentrated on me. Concentrating on anything would always be trouble for this boy. He was about five foot ten and thick set with a vapid face and eyes like snails. Now, I don't know what, I don't know what eyes like snails are. Um, it, you know, it's definitely a thing in, in um, hard-boiled fiction that you have to compare things, you know, you always have to compare things to other things. Um, but yeah, I don't know if eyes like snails mean they are out on stalks or, um, you know, kind of swirly or, <laughs> or what. Um, but um, yeah, Richard, Richard S. Prather definitely has fun um, with the prose in this book. Um, and you, you, as I say, you get the impression um, he's enjoyed the book, he's enjoyed writing the book um, as much as he hopes you enjoy reading it. Um, and I definitely did enjoy reading it. So yeah, I'll be seeking out more of these um, very entertaining short reads. So as always, hope you enjoyed that. If you read any of the Shell Scott mysteries, do let me know. Um, and I hope you are all keeping safe and well, and I'll speak to you again soon. Cheerio.